Welcome to the demo tutorial of Gozen Engage. Let's get started. When you first log into Gozen Engage, you will be on your dashboard. On the dashboard is where you can see the analytics of all your campaigns. For example, your total campaigns is the number of total campaigns and the percentage of campaigns you have created. The total views is the number of people who have used your campaign. And the total clicks is where the number of clicks your campaign has got and the total responses is where by collecting leads as in phone numbers and emails or the user has filled out the form. And on the recent activities, you can see the recently created campaign and whether a campaign is live or paused and also the views, clicks and responses. Let's see how to create your first campaign. To create your campaign, click on the Create Campaign button. You will be asked to choose from two options, that is to choose from pre-made templates or create with AI. When you click on Choose from Templates, you need to pick a pre-made template and start customizing it to your needs. But when you click on Create with AI, you need to tell us what you want to create and we will generate a template for you using AI. Let us see how to create with AI. You need a form but not sure where to start. A generate using AI feature is here to assist you. Simply let us know what you need and our AI will generate a form service post based on your specifications. Click on create with AI. You will be asked to enter the campaign name. You need to choose the workspace and you need to enter the description. For example, I'm giving the description as create a quiz for the world famous cuisines. You need to enter the number of questions and then you click on create. Your quiz is generated in seconds. You can view all the generated questions and you can also modify the content. Let us see how to choose template. With our Create from Templates feature, you can conveniently select and customize a pre-made template that suits your needs. Click on Choose Template. First, you need to choose your industry. You will learn in the template category section and it has a variety of interactive games, quizzes, spin wheels, e-commerce, polls, calculators, and surveys. To get a sneak peek of the template, click on View Template. If you find it suitable, just opt for use this template when you're ready to proceed. Select your workspace and enter your campaign name. You can start modifying the design. After you're done with the design, click on integrations to connect Goes and Engage with your favorite apps to send leads. Click on connect to enter the API key and require information and map fields to connect. Next, on the results menu, you can see the analytics and responses of each of your campaign. You can see the number of views of the campaign and number of people who have started it, number of responses and the number of people who have finished it. You can also see the response by countries and individual responses of each campaigns. 
on the share menu, you can copy the link to share or you can embed the pop-up on your website. You need to select your domain. To add a domain, you need to go to the settings menu and add your domain. You can edit display and targeting rules. There are a variety of targeting rules from when to show the pop-up. For example, on page load, show on exit, show on trigger, show on scroll, and show on inactivity. You can also mention how much time does the visitor have to spend on a page before the pop-up appears. And when a web visitor has seen this pop-up, how long we should wait before showing the pop-up for the same visitor. And when a visitor has already submitted a form in the pop-up, how long we should wait before showing the pop-up for the same subscriber. Let's get started on how to access a quiz template. Click on the quiz option to view the available quiz templates for your industry. Select the appropriate quiz template for your use case. To preview the template, click on View Template option to see how it looks. Click on Use Template to start customizing it. You need to enter the workspace and the campaign name. And when you click on Done, you will be redirected to the editing screen. On the editing page, you will see various customization options such as the ability to change title image, add form fields, edit button text, and set background images. If you want to modify the content, click on the Edit button. This will take you to three main options, the start screen, the questions, and the results page. On the start screen, you can customize the header description, the button text according to your preferences. On the question section, you will find a list of different questions you can customize. On the results menu, you have the option to edit the header, description, cover image, and redirect URL. Click on the spin wheels option to view the available spin wheel templates for your industry. Select the appropriate template for your use case. Preview the template by clicking on the view template option to see how it looks. Click on Use Template to start customizing it. You will be asked your workspace and the campaign name. When you click on the Edit option, it takes you to two editing options, that is changing the wheel design and the result settings. On the wheel designs, you can set up your spin wheel colors. And on the result settings, for each segment of the spin wheel, you can customize the text and the image. And you can offer the discount code and the probability of winning and the result title. And click on the Save button. E-commerce recommendation. E-commerce recommendation feature is a powerful tool that enables businesses to offer personalized product recommendations to their customers, thereby increasing conversions and driving sales. You can create product recommendations in Goes and Engage. And in today's world, product recommendation quizzes do have a big role to play in e-commerce sales. Choose the template that suits your needs. Click on Use this template. Select your workspace and enter your campaign name. You can add products for recommending your products to your customers. To add product, click on the Add Product button. You can either add manually or you can integrate with your stores to import the products. 
you can start customizing your quiz. You can start editing your background type, the image and the primary colors. And when you click on the edit button, you will be taken to three main options. On the start screen, you can edit the header description button text. On the questions, you can add multiple questions and you can remove the ones which is not needed. On the results menu, you have option to edit the header description, cover image and redirect URL and other relevant settings. With Goes and Engage games, businesses can introduce fun elements such as challenges, rewards, points, and leaderboards into their interactive content. This in turn leads to higher website traffic and improved brand awareness and ultimately enhance business growth. There are so many different categories of games such as crosswords, find path, find the world, flip cards, find pair, find odd one out, image puzzle, trivia quiz, match the words and memory games. To access a game template, click on the use this template button and you need to select the workspace and you need to give a campaign name. When you click on done, you will be redirected to the editing page. On the editing page, you will see various customization options such as the ability to change the title, image and form fields and edit buttons and set background images. You have options to click on to show the timer and to show the lead form. If you want to modify the content, click on the edit button. This will take you to three main options, the start screen, questions, and the results menu. On the start screen, you can customize the header description, button text according to your preferences. On the questions menu, you can change the layout of the game. On the results menu, you have option to edit the header description, cover image, redirect URL and other relevant questions. When you're done with the design, click on the save button. Let us see how to create a poll. To create a poll to discover opinions, collect feedback and analyze voting action and make smart business decisions. Navigate to poll from the template library. You can choose the template based on your needs. Click on use this template. You would be asked to choose the workspace and the campaign name. You will be redirected to your editing page where you can start editing the template with the start screen questions and result. On the start screen, you can customize the header description button text according to your preferences. On the question section, you will find a list of different questions which you can edit. And on the results menu, you have options to edit the header description, cover image, and redirect URL and other relevant settings. Let's get started on how to use surveys. Surveys are a great way to get product feedback and customer feedback, etc. To access a template, click on use this template. You will be asked your workspace and you need to give a campaign name. When you click on done, you will be redirected to the editing screen. On the editing page, you will see various customization options such as the ability to change the title image, add form fields, edit button text, and set background images. 
If you want to modify the content, click on the edit button. This will take you to three main important options, the start screen with the questions and the results page. On the start screen, you can customize the header button text according to your preferences. On the question section, you will find a list of different questions. You can customize these questions to suit your needs. On the results menu, you have the options to edit the header description, cover image, redirect URL, and other relevant settings. When you're done with the design, click on Save. Let us get started with calculators. Calculators help capture the attention of website visitors by providing them with a valuable tool to access and calculate important business metrics. By offering custom calculations and instant results, they can keep visitors on the website longer and increase the chances of lead conversion. Click on the calculator option in the template gallery. You need to choose the appropriate calculator for your use case. I'm choosing this contribution margin calculator. Click on use this template. You need to choose the workspace name and you need to enter the campaign name. Click on done. Once you provide the necessary information, you will be redirected to the editing screen. On the editing page, you will see various customization options such as the ability to change the title image, add form fields, edit button text, and background images. If you want to modify the content, click on the edit button. This will take you to three main options, the start screen, the questions, and the results page. On the start screen, you can customize the header, description, button text according to your preferences. On the question section, you will find a list of different questions you can customize. You can also add logic terms. You can add rules based on your logic jump. On the results menu, you have the option to edit the header, cover image, redirect URL, and other relevant settings. To add a team member to the account, navigate to settings and click on teams. On the teams, you need to enter the email of the team member you want to add. And then click on send invite. You need to choose the permission of each team member and which workspace they will have access to. And then click on invite. If you want to access your API key, navigate to settings and click on API key. On the API key, you need to first select your domain. And you need to click on get access key. You will be granted the plugin access key and the plugin access secret. Let us see how to add your domain to go and engage. Navigate to settings and click on domain. On the domain, click on add domain and enter your site. After you click on done, your domain will be listed below.